G'day, my name's Adam Hills. Welcome to a special edition of Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that is grabbing some popcorn and going to the movies. Tonight, we're celebrating the music of cinema. And our two romantic leads, as always, are actor and comedian Alan Bro and Triple J's Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Alan's first guest tonight is an AFI award-winning actress who appeared in a music video clip for the band Evermore, but is best known for appearing alongside Jim Carrey in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Please welcome Emily Browning. <laughs> welcome. Alan's second team member is an AFI award-winning actor who co-wrote and starred in the hit film Kenny as a sanitation worker. Thanks to him, plumbers can now turn up to fancy dress parties in their work clothes. Please welcome Shane Jacobson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to have you back. <laughs> Good Miss first guest tonight is an AFI award-winning actor who has appeared in such films as Muriel's Wedding, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, Strictly Ballroom, Gallipoli, Newsfront and even Finding Nemo. If it's a movie, if it was made in Australia, it probably featured Bill Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Miss final guest is an AFI award attending comedian <laughs> <laughs> who ate dinner alongside some of the biggest names in the industry. <laughs> he also appeared in such films as The Nugget, Takeaway and You and Your Stupid yeah. Mate. Please welcome Dave O'Neill. Thanks. Thanks. Um, now, before we do get on with Joe, Emily, yes. you did uh, Lemony Snicket. Yes. With Jim Carrey. Yes. Meryl Streep. Mm -hmm. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. And Billy Connolly. Yeah. How, how was that a little bit nerve wracking at the age of what? Yeah, 15? 15. It was pretty. It was pretty intimidating. Jim Carrey is a bit of a psycho, so. Is he really? Well, no. Well, he's okay. He doesn't really like the idea of anyone else being funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what? When you're telling jokes and stuff, you kind of have to hide in the corner and keep it really quiet and just go. He's okay. Well, the, the director used to, if he was giving like me and the other kids. Um, like funny lines or something, we'd have to ad lib and he'd like tell us in secret, he's like, put this line in there, don't. don't and then afterwards, like people would laugh and Jim would be like, I don't think that. Was... But he's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a nice guy, he stabbed me in the face with a pencil, but he's got a nice guy. <laughs> Our first game tonight is called Know Your Product. Each team captain picks a topic that everybody will be quizzed on. Your choices tonight are. Hollywood musicals, James Bond, original scores, and Oscar winning songs. Miff can pick the first topic tonight. Um, Oscar winning songs? Yeah, sure. That'll do. All right, Alan? I think we'll have original scores. Thanks, Adam. All right, we'll start with Oscar winning songs. Everyone on your buzzers? Let's play Spicks and Flicks. Your first question for one point. According to the Oscar winning song Arthur's theme, what's the best that you can do? Yes? Fall in love. If you get caught between the moon and New York City, yeah. it's fall in love. Oh, One point oh, 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 oh. Next question, two points. <laughs> Randy Newman was nominated for an Oscar 15 times before hitting the jackpot in 2001 with this song, If I Didn't Have You. If I didn't have you. I know what you mean, son. For two points, name the actors singing. Uh, yeah. That was Monsters, Inc, wasn't it? Was it Monsters, Inc? Who were the ones? Oh, you're right. So, uh, Billy Crystal and yes. John Goodman. Excellent, two points. Oh, well oh, done, oh, Al. Well done, Emily. <laughs> the three points. Listen to these three Oscar winning songs. Tell me the movies they were from. When you wish upon a star and can't see the world tonight, my heart to win. Yes. Good with. That last one's Titanic, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. was. Heart will go on. The one with the ship that sinks. Don't want to ruin the ending, but. Uh... <laughs> when you wish upon a star. Bill, it? Bill. Fantasia. No, it's not. Do you know the other one? <laughs> nah. Yeah. I'm going to open it up to the other side because Emily seems to know. Yeah. Um, first one was Pinocchio. Yes, it was. And the oh, second one was Lion King. It was the Lion King. Well done. Two points yeah. to this side, one point to that oh. side. <laughs> no one that didn't care, he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> But he's a really nice guy. He's lovely. On to original scores. <laughs> Your first question for one point. Describe what you would be seeing on screen if you were at the cinema and you heard this. Well, yes. it's a, the, 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 psycho. The, the psycho. The psycho. The, 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 the psycho in the shower. Yeah, yeah, in the, the, the bath. Yeah, go on the plastic yeah. curtain that covered everything. You couldn't see nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was exactly it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, the shower yeah. scene from Psycho. <laughs> Two points. Which two Aussie rockers wrote the AFI winning soundtrack for the proposition? 
Yes. Oh, Nick, Nick, Nick Cave. Nick Cave and, uh, and Warren Ellis from Dirty Three. Yes, Go two on. points out of three. Well done, well done, well done, Nick. Three points on the line for your final question. Have a listen to these three tunes. Tell me the movies that featured them. Oh, wow. Well. Alan's team got in first. The last one was American Beauty. Uh, yes, it was. The, the middle one sounded like Titanic, Titanic. again. Oh. No, it wasn't. They went through a period. We just said it sounded like. Are we getting to the answer? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> 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 the first one. The good, the bad, the ugly. Oh yeah, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, it was. Okay, and so the middle one, which yep. sounded like Titanic. But uh, the answer is. I'll throw it to this side. Local hero. No. Oh, oh no. It was. The song was concerning hobbits. Does that help? It was oh. Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh no, that was the film that I did. Oh, no, no, sorry, Lord of the Rings. That was a different one. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the first round, the scores are Miff, Bill and Dave are on five points. Alan, Emily and Shane just out in front. Six points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> round two tonight is a movie version of Sample Mania. Each team will be presented with five iconic movie scenes. You have to tell me the songs associated with each scene. Now, to make things just a little bit more fun, the scenes will be acted out live in the studio. Alan, Emily and Shane, tonight your scenes will be performed by the woman who played Fran in Strictly Ballroom, Tara Maurice, and the man who played Goose in Mad Max, Steve Bisley. There will be five scenes coming your way. Action. Need the songs associated with those scenes. First one was my 21st birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, also spake Zarathustra. Yep. Out of 2001, yeah. From 2001. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was the next one? The film was Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, it's Unchained General. Melody, is yeah. it? Uh huh. What was the third one? Muriel's Wedding. Muriel's Wedding. It was that Abba song. Hey. Dancing Queen. <laughs> Good what was the next one? Sound, Sound of Music. music. Uh huh. And the last one? And the last one was An Officer and a Gentleman. Yes. Yeah. But what's the song? Does anyone on this side want to have a go at that? what the song oh, was in the final not, scene? No. When you're walking down the aisle, Bill, you were there, man! No, no, no. <laughs> 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 you were there, dude! We, we'll give you a clue. You're in it. <laughs> Mate, I was so far in it, it wasn't funny. <laughs> OK, maybe you were out of it. <laughs> you were out of it, mate. No idea? Oh. It wasn't I do, I do, it wasn't ring, ring, wasn't ring. It would be I do, I do, I do! And so, an officer and a gentleman. Oh. Officer and gentleman. Um, uh, oh, it's, up it's... where we belong or something like that. Oh. Or, um... oh, let's see the scenes back with the actual songs behind them. Action. <laughs> that was Also Sprach Zarathustra from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh. Well done, Alan. You did get that one right. It's <laughs> terrible. It's very good. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I have it. That's you, Bill. Look at that. <laughs> that was The Sound of Music by Rogers and Hammerstein from The Sound of Music. And. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the last one right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Lee Fisley Tower of the Race. Myth, Bill and Dave, it's your oh. turn. Oh. Your scenes will be performed by the man who played Evan on Secret Life of Us, Samuel Johnson, and the man who played Mitch in The Dish, Kevin Harrington. Yeah. <laughs> you love to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I need the songs associated with those scenes. They were singing in the rain. Yes, yes. Singing in the rain was the first one. Uh, Second one. Old time rock and roll. Oh, Tom. Go, go. When Tom was cool, before yeah. he went a bit nuts. Yep. <laughs> Third one. Uh, stuck what was stuck in the middle with you. That's from that, uh, Reservoir yeah. Dogs. Yep. Fourth one. That was from Big. Was that from Big? I don't they know. jump on it, yeah. With, you know, with Tom Hanks, and they jump on the piano in the. I don't watch Tom Hanks movies. Fair yeah. enough. No, 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 he's crap. I hate him. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. He's nah. rubbish. It was yeah. chopsticks. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. What was the last one? The last one sort of blended. Can we see the last one again? I'm going to give this side a guess. Uh, oh. always look on the bright side of life from the life of Brian? Let's have a look oh. at all five scenes back, shall we, with oh. the actual music. Action. I'm singing in the rain. That was Singing in the Rain You're from the movie. Singing, singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain. Lovely. <laughs> that was Stuck in the Middle by Steelers Wheel from the movie Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Chopsticks, as seen in the movie Big. And Always Look at the Bright Side of Life by Eric Idle from Monty Python's The Life of Brian. Four points for Mitch team, one point to Alan team. <laughs> Now, Bill, how do you rate all of them? Are they better than Tom Hanks? What's yeah, the story? I work with all of them. There we go, that's good. Yeah, I don't work with mugs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on this show? <laughs> you may well ask. <laughs> Now, I've got a question that I want to ask you, Shane, and I'm asking you this because you put together the movie Kenny, and there are certain songs that appeared in that movie. How do you go about getting, so getting permission to use songs in a film? Well, uh, Richard Pleasance did most of the music for our film, if not nearly all of it. So, for um, I think Backman Turner Overdrive's Taking Care of Business was the, was the one we, uh, we got the rights to. But you can get, you can get the, the melody rights, then the lyric rights for the words, and then the recording rights. So because we had no money, uh, we couldn't afford the recording rights, so we paid for the melody and lyric rights, and then Richard Pleasance um, did a version, and because we had so much money, I did the backing vocals on it. <laughs> <laughs> and every scene where they were at a bar or, you know, I don't know, in the background of the nightclub or whatever, we just couldn't afford the rights. So Richard Pleasance would just write a song, so in the background it's me, Clayton, and Richard Pleasance just singing all these completely random songs because we just couldn't afford to buy good ones. Wow. So we sang shit ones. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are uh, Alan, Emily, Shane on 10 points. Miff, Bill and Dave have hit the lead. 11 points. Oh. Hey. Good work, Bill. Good work. Both teams are about to be shown part of a film clip. You will then have to answer questions about that clip. Your clip tonight is from the movie Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Both teams watch this clip. There will be a test afterwards. Questions. Yeah, there were some hot chicks in there, Bill. How'd you go? 
gentleman doesn't talk about such things, but I'll tell you. Now, listen. <laughs> Your first question, awesome. what type of alcohol bottle was smashed? Uh, yep. Um, a champagne bottle. Let's have a look. Bang on the money. When Guy Pearce's character, Felicia Jolly Goodfellow, is in the silver dress atop the bus, to which side of the screen... Camera left. OK, yeah. let's have a look. Yeah. Camera left, well done. Oh, nice. All right. Your yeah, next question. What was on Bill Hunter's head? Uh, oh, oh. oh, yes? It was a leather, like a leather, leather black headman. OK. Bill? No, it's brown, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. have a look. That was a little uh, leather strap. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> what shape are the glasses that the characters uh, all put on? Yep. Round. Round. Let's have a look. Yes, they yeah. were. Well done. <laughs> and your final question. Does Terence Stamp have slices of fruit or vegetable on his eyes? It'd be uh, cucumber. It was a cucumber, so that's what is that's it? Right. A fruit or a <laughs> <laughs> it's a fruit. <laughs> we'll go to Bill. Bill, you were there. No, we'll it's, a, it's a game movie. It's a fruit. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's a cucumber and that is indeed a fruit. Well done, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> now, when, when you're sitting at home and you got the script for Priscilla, what was the thought, first thoughts that went through your mind? I got this phone call from a producer who had never heard of. And he said, I want to make this great film. I said, yeah, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Did you think and he said, but I can't do it without you. I said, lovely. <laughs> When do we start? He said, no, 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 you don't understand. I said, what's, what's the problem? He said, well, I want Terence Stamp a star in it. Terence says uh, he'll only do it if you play the boyfriend. I said, big pun. <laughs> and I said, you better send me a script. In the meantime, I rang up Terence. I said, what's the go? And he said, uh, well, I'll tell you what, he wants me to play a drag queen and I'm not happy about it. It's a real career curve for me. And I said, yeah, well, OK, well, how do you feel about it? He said, I want to play it. And I said, OK, off you go. Well, listen, what's the deal? He said, I'll play it if you do it. And I said, he said, I'm asking for this much money and this percentage. So when, when I said I'd do it, I got a suitable amount of money and a similar percentage, and I'm still getting paid for it. That's how it happened. <laughs> Good bloke, Terence. <laughs> Did you go for one of the drag roles as well, initially? Did you think, I could do that? I could do Guy Pearce's... Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are, oh dear lord, Midfield Dave on 13 points, Alan, Emily and Shane also 13 points. Oh. This round is called Cover Versions. Now normally, one member of each team has to draw song titles for their teammates without using words or numbers. Your teammates would then have to identify the songs. Tonight though, you have to draw the names of musicals. Shane. You'll be drawing first for Alan and Emily. Would you like to make your way up to the board, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Jacobson. Hey. Ross. Right. Your time oh. starts now. Oh, wow. Here we go. I have to do this now, don't I? Um, uh, uh, showboat, oh, um, circus. Ooh. Carousel. Um, carousel. Carousel. Well done, yeah. Emily. Nice work. House. Oh, excellent. House. Uh, um, uh, smoke. Uh, chimney. Oh, uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Thank yes, you very much, uh, Alan. Excellent. Guess what I wanted to draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. um, two cylinders. What's oh, the... you, okay. No. I'll let you get away with that. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Um, ca ca coke, coke the musical. <laughs> um, cans of love. Um, what cans? Can can. Yes. Oh. Can -can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Feet. Feet. Happy, happy feet. feet. Yes, it was yeah. happy feet. Oh, well done, so Molly. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Old man. <gasps> Ladder. River. Road. Road something. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Yes, it is oh, Wizard nice. of Oz. Well done, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Chess. Oh, the, the, wall. the wall. The wall. Pink Floyd's oh, nice. the wall. Excellent. Oh. Ooh, time's up. Shane Jacobson, six points. Yay! Well done, sir. Dave, 
You'll be drawing for Miff and Bill. Would you like to make your way up, sure. ladies and gentlemen? Dave O'Neill. Thank you. Your time starts now. Okay, what do we got there? Top hat? Yes, exactly, Miff. Well done. Is yeah. that a musical? I think so. It must be good. Oh, God. Uh, do um, no, you can't sing it while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, stick man uh, on the stage. Um, oh. Uh, oh, the, the um, star. Oh, no, it's terrible. Pass. No, OK, yeah. let's move on. But I'm looking star is born? No. <laughs> I think the kids haven't won these turns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they look like Terence and Philip. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, but they're not like Blues Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. There right. we go, Blues Brothers. Oh, finally. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. What do you mean, finally? It wasn't our fault. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up in the back of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. What was that? That was Saturday Night Fever. That's oh. <laughs> I think you have Saturday Night Fever. I think I... That. Oh, this is a, this that. is this is a... Is it, is it Jurassic Park? Hey, what time are we gonna have him back at the home? <laughs> <laughs> that was Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. <laughs> well that's a giraffe! was meant to be Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> chitty Chitty Bang Bang was a car, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> right. Was it? Yes. Don't go there. At the end of that round, the scores are Miff, Bill, Dave on 15 points, Alan, Emily and Shane out in front, 19 points. Oh. Right, it's time for the final countdown. Teams, hands on your buzzers. Oh, one point oh, for a correct answer. Okay, here we go. One point off for a wrong answer. Here we go, here we go. Your questions start now. <laughs> Basically, a play on words is what term for the Hindustani language musical uh, film? Bollywood. Bollywood. Bollywood, well done. <laughs> Who famously first recorded the soul classic Saturday Night at the Movies in 1964? Saturday Night at the Movies. Uh, yes? Sam Cook. Ah, uh, no, it was the Drifters. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> In which 1984 film would you hear this line? If our Lord wasn't testing us, how would you account for the proliferation these days of this obscene... Footloose. Footloose. Well picked, Miff. You've got to cut loose, Bill. Footloose. <laughs> Footloose. You know, with the dancing. They wouldn't up. <laughs> Who wrote the original score for Star Wars? Uh, yes. John Williams. Yes. yes. Well done. Have a listen to this song. Tell me the 2004 film soundtrack it comes from. Garden Sack. Yes! That was, <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> it was the shins that was from Garden State. In which 1951 musical film would you hear the song They Call the Wind Mariah? Oh, Oklahoma! <laughs> <laughs> he, he said it after the wind was to fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't get my hand on it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say paint your wagon. But Bill's scaring me too much to tell him he's wrong. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> <laughs> it was paint your wagon. For your final point, complete this line from the 1971 musical film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You will live in happiness to Oompa Loompa Digga Dee Doo. <laughs> I've got like the oompa loompa dumpa dee doo, which is, you know, close enough and build it a dance. So, yes, that's yeah. all. <laughs> At the end of the show, the final scores ended up Miff, Bill, and Dave got 16 points. Alan, Emily, and Shane won the day 21 points. Oh. <laughs> 
Would you please thank all our guests for tonight, Emily Browning, Shane Jacobson, Bill Hunter and Dave O'Neill. And we'd also thank our two team captains, Alan Bro and Mick Warhurst. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to leave you tonight with a musical number that combines Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, The Sound of Music and James Bond. An Alpine Umpa band called the Umpa Lumpas will perform their version of the theme to 007. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. <laughs>